A 767 arrives in Louisville, normally routine, but this arrival is special. The new paint glistening in the evening sun is the first clue. N-335 is fresh from Boeing's assembly line in Seattle. The first new 767 to arrive on property in nearly eight years. Feels good. It, it, there's, this is a culmination of over two years of work. The new 76s are nearly identical to UPS's current aircraft, but crew members will see some changes in the cockpit with components that have been upgraded by the manufacturer. Very, very few changes. You have an integrated standby flight director, which is a little bit different than what we have right now. Uh, you've got this MyDo, which is a little bit different than we have right now. And, the, and there's a few software changes, if you will, in the FMCs. And that's the basic difference, along with the TCAS on the IVSI. There are a few new capabilities, including Iridium satellite communications, weather radar with predicted wind shear, and the performance capability to land at high altitude airports in South America. Overall, though, the changes are minor. Crew training will consist of a differences bulletin issued to 7576 crew members. In our position is it'll be quite intuitive to them. They'll see so few changes that they'll catch on to it right away. No problems at all. After several days of FAA checks and maintenance training, the new aircraft is scheduled to enter service the last week of August. The next new 767 is scheduled for delivery in October. Jim Mayer, AirUPSers.com.